Lee from Really Haunted. He was one of the hardest people thus far to channel for, not gonna lie. going to be reacting to this video, WTF is this thing in my haunted house. Okay, so right off the bat, in a, the post I made either today or the day before, I don't even know, time's running together, I stated that, you know, I'm having trouble channeling and getting information and it might take me a while for this video. There's a few reasons for that. One, the damn entity, spirit, whatever, is putting me to sleep again, and I keep having this issue when I have negative spirits or entities involved. Number two, um, I am clairsentient, which means whether or not there are spirits or entities in the vicinity, I can feel the person, the living person's um, ailments, illnesses, what have you, and they come to my body and then I feel them and it makes me feel like crap. And uh, sometimes it makes me stay in bed all day because I feel like crap. And that was another thing going on. And then three, I had to sift between what was legit and not legit in the video. Now, let me explain that. There is some paranormal activity in the space and he's experiencing a lot of it not on camera and because of this it's built his obsession to catch it on camera it's partially why he has his channel partially but he's not catching it on camera I mean he he's catching a wee bit of on camera now there's a lot of stuff that I can see that he's catching on camera that, you know, everyday people are not going to see because medium, hello. But like the sound clips and then the movements, I'm sorry. I don't want to be like one of those debunking channels going around, but some of them, some of the, uh, f some of the footage is not legit. Okay. Let me further explain. Spirit was showing me him dubbing and layering his videos with some of the sound clips and the stick figure things. I don't, I don't even know how that works. I know there's like the SL, is it SLS? I'm dumb when it comes to technology. I know they have the ghost tube app and like they have like that camera thing that'll show the stick figures. I played with that once in a while. But... I don't know. They're just something, and I even had someone validate this for me. I'm not going to give out names. So, yeah. But Spirit was showing me them dubbing sounds over the footage, which isn't good because, you know, then it takes away the validity of the things that they're capturing. But, and I say a big but, even if some of the footage isn't legit, that does not mean that there's not anything there. <sighs> Debunkers will probably disagree with me, but it's understandable because they can't see what I can see. And so everything is kind of just like based off of opinion. I can't be mad at that. But I don't want to call Lee's channel 100% fake because it's not. He is experiencing paranormal activity. He's just not catching it. And he's trying to overcompensate, I feel, by dubbing some of these things in and overlaying some of the footage. So guys, do not come at him with hate because some of the footage is legit. It's just like some things on TV 
when they can't get adequate proof, they make proof. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing there. So take that information how you will. I still recommend watching his videos because they're very interesting. And for me, at least, and if you're a medium that can see this stuff, you're still going to catch stuff. Like you're not, it's not like you're not going to catch anything. I do see some orbs flying around here and there. Some of it's dust particles, yes, but I did catch an orb or two in the video. And yeah, so guys, his videos are not 100% fake, okay? Some of them are legit. Or at least this video isn't all fake. There's some real stuff in there. So, moving on with the things in his space. The first thing I felt was lower back cramps, and they were really bad. And they actually had me in bed all day yesterday. So I was channeling from bed because I felt like garbage. And part of it was because I was feeling the stuff he was feeling. And so those cramps going from the lower back and working their way up, oh my god. I don't even know how he deals with that. I also was getting nausea. I was getting head pain on the back of the head. Um, and ear pain. Okay. Also, another thing to point out is sometimes when I get back pain, depending on how it feels, that usually is a good indicator that this person has an attachment. And I do believe he does have an attachment as well. Other things that I did feel, I felt random burning sensations on my body. So I, I felt some on my thigh, on the bottom of my foot, like weird places. He is also experiencing paranoia and pareidolia. And when you put those two together, you'll start seeing things that aren't really there. And I experienced this right before he had the little self jump scare from the light switch. When he was coming up the stairs, I, the banister, for a quick split second, it looked like a little girl porcelain doll. Creepy as fuck. Okay? And then that's when the light switch thing. But it's interesting, too, because when I had to walk my dog last night, and even this morning, the shadows were turning into things that weren't there. Like spirit looking things that weren't actually there and I'm like I typically don't have pareidolia issues so this is strange and now it makes sense after watching this video and a lot of times like when you are paranoid or have any sort of fear your brain tries to make sense of shadows and things especially if you're in the dark and that's when, you know, it can make things that look like ghosts or spirits or entities or what have you. So just take note of that. Um, and because he's got like, I don't want to call it an obsession, but it, it's giving obsession energy. And again, it's because he is experiencing paranormal activity. He's trying to catch it on camera. And he's so, like, focused that that energy that he's putting out in vibration is attracting, it attracted a negative earthbound female spirit, first off. And two, it's creating a thought form, a separate thought form from his attachment. And this is what I saw. I drew it out. Remember when he said he feels like he's being watched? That's part of the paranoia, but the paranoia is starting to form its own little thought form thing. And there's an eye in the center of it. And it's like veins. It's so strange. These veins are like concentrations of shadowy energy or like dark, darker shadowy energy. And they're making like these veins. And then you have that eye. And this is where the thought form is, you know, being created and is now created. So he's got that going on. The negative female earthbound spirit. Let me give you her description. So she's like a bigger, thicker woman. Nothing wrong with that. 
She's got light brown, straight, like chestnut brown hair that comes to her shoulders. And she, you know, is wearing glasses. She gave me a creepy ass smile. Was not a fan of that. I hate when spirits and entities do that, but they know it irks me. So that's why they do it. But she's there because of that uh, vibration match. She's being drawn in from there. I'm not quite sure who she is. I just saw her. I didn't get a lot of information because, again, I got put to sleep like six times. It was so frustrating. But one of the things I did see was a school gymnasium. And in the center of the floor was like a stereotypical like tombstone. That could have several meanings. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know any background information about like his house and where he lives or the area, let me know. Because like I said, this is like the only video I watched. And I don't know anything about him. So the meaning behind this could mean either, you know, there is a school or gym nearby that was built on top of graves and she came from there, maybe. It could mean that his house was built on graves and she came from there. It could also mean that somebody died in gym class. Like I said, there's a lot of things. It's hard to like pinpoint exact meanings here. The attic, the attic board that kept making the boop, 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 boop noise. Spirit showed me that gusts of wind, if there's cracks in like the structure of anything, especially an addict, when the wind comes in, it can create a suction, like, mechanism? Is that the right word? And where the air will go boom, boom. And so it will do the same thing with the board of the addict. It'll go boom, boom. And I've seen this happen in person, actually, at my old job, where um, it was really windy and it would somehow get up in the top of the building and it would go whoop, whoop, and then all the tiles in the ceiling would go boop boop and it was so freaky but that's what i see going on there some of the times it's not the spirit moving it though now that he is kind of aware of the attic door or board i don't know is it a door is it a board i'm not quite sure it might mess with it now but that has a lot to do with like the wind getting up in there. Um, what else? Oh, dubbing that sound too. That sound felt very dubbed. And you know, guys, this is all alleged. So he might very well be, you know, 100% legit, but from what I've seen on the astral realms and things, I don't feel as though he's 100% legit. I'm sorry. And, you know, a lot of the time, I don't like watching paranormal channels in general because some of them are fake. Some of them are 100% fake. And when I know that, I lose interest. I'm sorry. And this is what frustrates me, like I said, not all of it is faked. There's some legit stuff in there, but you're going to have the debunkers come around and be like, oh my God, this is 100% fake. And then people aren't going to want to watch his channel, which is a shame because it's a good channel. Like it's, it's a good channel, especially if you like paranormal. It's not much different from like ghost adventures, honestly, but you just don't have Zach Bagel Bites, you know, being like, Aaron, Get in the house. Blah, 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 blah. So this negative earthbound spirit is causing a lot of ailments. He does have an attachment, but again, it is a thought form kind of entity that was created from, you know, past experiences, traumas. Most of everybody has these types of attachments. So this is very common. It is possible to uh, get rid of it. It just, this one takes a lot of time because it is based off of 
your emotions, your traumas and things. And it's got to be things you work through. That's why it takes a while because healing, people heal at different intervals and different time frames. And yeah, I mean, that's why it takes a while, especially when you have really traumatic things that could take years of healing. Now, there's a really important point I wanted to make with this, with his video. And I feel like his channel is very similar to the video he posted. Just based off of the thumbnails, it looks like a lot of his channel is like recording in his house. So when you put out any kind of negative energy, you have the obsession you have the intense focus, plus you have any other negative emotions you feel due to anything that happens during the day or your course of life, any kind of struggles. It's going to create negative energy in the space. He needs to cleanse that space, but also within himself, hence the thought form attachment. But not only is it bringing in things, that earthbound female spirit she likes him and I would say she's becoming attached if she's not already and I would say if I were him he probably might not want to do it because then of because of the footage thing if he likes to get all of his content in his house he might not want to do it because he might lose his future content but if he is adamant about getting rid of this, he needs to cleanse his face. And I feel as though he's going to need more than, I always say Sage and Palo Santo. That's like the basic, like for things that aren't very strong, like your typical clearing. If you have little buggies in there, it'll get rid of it. But when you have entities and spirits that are stronger, you're going to need to boost up the um, protection and clearing tools. So, and this will work for anybody, but if I were him, I would use the frankincense combination with copal, and you can get them in resins or incense sticks. He needs to burn both of those in his space. But, but it will only work if he is serious about kicking this stuff out. If he's got any thing in his mind that will be like, well, I kind of need that content. They're not going to leave ever until you adamantly are serious about kicking this stuff out. And I suspect that he may not be 100% there yet. He needs to watch himself because that female earthbound spirit will make him sick, if not already. She's going to play on his health because she needs to absorb that energy from him, that negative energy. She, she needs it to stick around and she likes him. So she ain't going nowhere unless he can cut off that source of energy. If he can cut off that source for her, she's going to go somewhere else. She should be crossed over, but so yeah, he needs to get an energy healing session for himself. He needs to be serious about kicking these things out. And if I were him, I do not recommend getting content in your house. I don't. I don't recommend using spirit boxes in your house. I don't recommend doing ghost investigations in your house because when you use certain tools and any tool, you set up a communication line. You have that intent of connecting with something. It's very similar, not the same, but very similar to using a Ouija board. You're casting out a st signal for them for anything to come through really who wants to, you know, connect and get um, acknowledged so they have energy to feed off of. But that's why, you know, if I use the 
um, app in my videos, I gotta cleanse my space. Mickey, gotta cleanse my space, I gotta cleanse Mickey. So when you use any kind of the, like any kind of tools like this, you gotta cleanse the tools, you gotta cleanse your space right after, you gotta cut that connection line so nothing tries to come back and communicate. Because once you create that line, they're gonna come back and forth. It's pretty much creating a portal in your space. So, if I were you, Lee, if you watch this video, I would cleanse your space, cleanse yourself. If you can afford a Reiki session or energy healing session, do it. And don't be filming any more things in your house because your house should be kept as a sacred and safe space for you. You don't want other things in there. I'm telling you from experience. I'm a medium. I draw shit into my house all the time. When I cleanse, they go to my neighbor's house and they wait. I am not kidding. They wait on the other end until the protection wears off and then they flood me. Especially when I sleep and they're all trying to talk to me and yeah. So, guys, use this as a potential like learning lesson here. If you're an investigator, if you're going to investigate in your house, even though I don't recommend it, cleanse your space regularly and your equipment. Not include your camera, your ghost boxes, your, your REM pods, anything you use in your investigations. And lastly, I wanna state, while again, while not everything in his video was 100% legit, there were some legit things in there. So I don't want you to be like, oh my god, he's so fake, I don't want to watch him anymore. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Every video, everything can be a learning lesson. Use it as a learning lesson. And if you're someone who is sensitive or a medium and you're trying to learn, he's a great channel to learn from because you can practice sifting through the things that are legit and not legit. But again, I have no hate for him. I think he can be entertaining. It's just not for me because A, Time is money. I gotta get these videos out and I don't got a much I don't got much time to, you know, be watching a lot of content of other people. But so guys, I hope this answered your questions. And uh thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. I will be doing more reactions to other creators. And you know if there are other creators that you want, you know, reacted to, leave them down below. I believe my next one will be the Foreman Brothers, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Peace out.